So I will note for the record that participating in this meeting is uh, Bill Ramsey, Liz Klein, and myself, Joe Fisher. And we have Tom Mayo here as well. First order of the day is to consider appointments and or reappointments. Um, I am prepared to accept motions. Okay, I have a few. Um, I'd like to make, make a motion to reappoint Mary Bell to the Cultural Council for a three-year term ending June 30th, 2027. Second. Roll call vote, Bill. Aye. Liz. Aye. And I'm an I as well. Next motion. I'd like to make a motion to reappoint Nick Amder to the Harbor Development Committee for a three-year term ending June 30th, 2027. Second. Roll call vote, Bill. Aye. Liz. Aye. And I'm an I as well. I'd like to make, make a motion to reappoint Stephen Juranek to the Historical Commission for a three-year term ending June 30th, 2027. Second. Roll call vote. Bill. Aye. Liz. Aye. And I am an I as well. I'd like to make a motion to reappoint John Fitzsimmons to the Scholarship Fund Committee for a three-year term ending June 30th, 2027. Second. Roll call vote. Liz. Aye. Bill. Aye. And I'm an I as well. How to mix that one up. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to make a motion to reappoint William Leonard to the Veterans Council for a three-year term ending June 30th, 2027. Second. Roll call vote, Bill. Aye. Liz. Aye. And I am an I as well. Are we doing an appointment to the Affordable Housing Trust? We can. There are two names. Um, the applicants, I understand, uh, Gregory Waxman and Liz Cullen, if that's something you would be interested in. So, Liz and Bill, are you prepared at this point? I I'm comfortable with it. I know Liz yes. has worked, worked Those there. Those are so. both reappointments, correct? Yes. Okay. I will accept that motion. Okay. I will make a motion to reappoint Greg Waxman and Liz Cullen to the Affordable Housing Trust for a three-year term ending June 30th, 2027. Oh, it's not a, not a two-year oh. term, which is in our is vote it, list? Oh, sorry. I don't have it in the vote list. Is it two years? Two years. Two-year term. Two okay. years ending June 30th, 2026. Yeah. So I'd make a motion to, to amend, amend Liz's motion to a two-year term ending June 30, 2026. Second. Okay. We're now going to do a vote on Bill's amendment. Roll call vote. Bill. Aye. Liz. Aye. And I am an I as well. Now we need to do a vote on the main motion as amended. It's been moved. Has it been seconded? Second. Okay. Roll call vote. Bill. Aye. Liz. Aye. And I'm an I as well. It made me feel like the moderator to do that. Oh, was, so. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, next item on our agenda is, uh, I believe we're not going to discuss the uh, the roof at this point. Yeah, yeah, we're not ready with what we need to, to make uh, that decision. Yes. yes. So we will move to an executive, ses executive session under Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3 to dis discuss strategy regarding pending litigation. Inverniz et al. versus the town of Hingham, Land Court Department docket number 22, miscellaneous 000468. Do we have someone who's prepared to make a, oh, I will make the declaration. Before I entertain a motion to go into executive session under this item of the agenda, I hereby declare that discussion of this agenda item in an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the town. I'm prepared to accept the motion. I'll make a motion to enter executive session under Matter General Law Chapter 38, Section 21A3, to discuss strategy regarding pending litigation in Venezi et al. versus Town of Hingham et al. Land Court Department, docket number 22MISC000468. The board will not reconvene in open session. Is there a second? Second. Roll call vote. Bill. Aye. Liz. Aye. And I'm an I as well. We will adjourn this meeting to go into executive session and we will not reconvene in open session. Thank you. We are now going into executive session. See you in there. Thank you.